Defendants include Benjamin Samson and Oswald Tolopa, as Register of Titles and Acting Lands Department Secretary, Justin Chechenko as Lands Minister and the State. After the uh, Commission of Inquiry into all SABLs, NEC made a decision that all SABLs are to be cancelled. That's the reason why we came before the court. And also, the Department of Lands through the Register of Titles also published in the media that the SABL is cancelled. Zachary Gelu, the plaintiff's lawyer, explained that the restraining orders were granted after the Purari Development Authority questioned the Land Act or if NEC has powers to determine the outcome of SABL titles. The reason why we are here today, the Purari Development Association through the president has obtained restraining orders. And these restraining orders are so important to my clients, these landowners from Baimuru. They are the principal customary landowners of the land where the Pop One LNG project is. Yes. So the restraining orders are basically simple. We have in effect stopped the project. The first court restraining order is this. There won't be any social mapping. If there was, the state will not accept the report or the recommendations that is contained in, in that social mapping. The second restraining orders we got is in relation to the ministerial determination under the Oil and Gas Act. We have stopped the minister to do that. The third one is the development forum. We have asked the court to stop the development forum because the development forum flows from the two earlier orders we've got. So in effect, these restraining orders, it's a victory for the true landowners who are here. These resource owners represent hundreds of beneficiaries of the Papua LLG project in the Baimuru area of Gulf Province. In May, they told MTV News the 10 billion US dollar gas agreement signed in April by the previous government was rushed and did not capture the interests of resource owners. Now, what we have come to find today, I think, is a testament that uh, the law is for everybody, regardless of who you are. And uh, now that we have obtained these restraining orders, it's a milestone victory for our people who have been forgotten, particularly when you consider the terms the project agreement was signed under. They were not favorable, not only for the country, but for the landowners. And we hope that through this victory, we can take some ground back and we can bring some level of uh, uh, better benefits and not only that, but better recognition and involvement of landowners in major discussions, particularly the equivalent of the Papua LNG project. The restraining orders are in favor of the eight tribes represented through the Purari Development Association. Biggest, biggest victory for my, my landowners. We've taken this uh, SABL title more than 10 years ago. And the authorities in government and companies have played around with it. And when this important uh, Papua LNG project emits, we had a title already. We didn't get a title because of the project. The matter returns to court for the substantial hearing next month. Sekla Gunga, National MTV News.